sure that I get a direct answer to this. Um, Governor Corzine, did you understand that MF Global was using customer funds to carry out proprietary transactions on behalf of M MF Global? Senator, um, I was not aware of the misuse of customer funds, and I've said that. Certainly yeah, didn't right. authorize it, didn't intend to have it happen, and until that Sunday evening, uh, not aware. Yeah, I understand that's what you said earlier, but my question is, well, let me frame it a little differently. Would the use of your customers' funds to engage in proprietary trades on behalf of MF Global have been illegal as far as you're concerned? Well, first of all, it is a... It, it is actually more complicated. It gets into this Rule 125 of the right. um, repurchase agreements between uh, entities. Um, as long as the securities that were on a part of that repurchase agreement uh, between the entities, that would be appropriate. It would not be a misuse of customer funds. For instance, if you had Treasury bills and you did a repo to the uh, FCM from the broker-dealer, uh, that, that would be appropriate. If you did it for Euro sovereigns, that wouldn't be. Okay. And that's a generally accepted practice in, in the industry, is it not? To, to the, rule the Rule 125, uh, which I think I heard Senator Harkin actually read from, very specific about what can be invested uh, with segregated funds and any of the repurchase agreements that could occur between um, the entities have to be in 125 eligible securities. They can't be in things that didn't already meet that criteria. Okay, but you knew customer funds were being used for that type of activity. For Rule 125 eligible. Right. Yes. You knew customer funds were that, being that, used for yes. what you okay. thought was a correct use. Correct use. Of uh, investing customer funds. So, uh, were you aware that margin calls were being made on a regular basis uh, just prior to or towards the middle of the end of October on the sovereign debt investments? The sovereign debt investments are in the broker-dealer and were not a part of the FCM. Um, and the answer to your question is yes. So, where did you think the money came from? Uh, we run... We run liquidity positions, and as I think I heard Mr. Abelo say, we also had um, access at um, draws against our liquidity lines with the banks. Okay. Mr. Steelkamp, uh, you as the CFO, I assume, review the financial condition of the company on a regular and daily basis? As CFO of the Global Holding Company, um, I would review the, the consolidated financial statements um, and financial condition. Um, and I think as I mentioned in my statement, uh, we have various regulated subsidiaries around the world uh, that have various rules and regulations uh, under the specific jurisdictions that they operate in. Um, and with regards to the financial condition and operations of those entities, um, I would receive exception reporting, escalation notification as issues arose from the, the, the finance and other offices in those entities. So were you aware within the, let's say, two weeks leading up to October 31 that regular margin calls were being made against one of the subsidiaries for the foreign debt investments? Uh, Senator, I was aware on occasions that there were margin calls made as a variation margin and at times initial margin changes occurred uh, related to those positions. Okay, and as the Chief Financial Officer of the company, where did you think the money was coming from to meet those margin calls? 
Uh, well, Senator, uh, as, as, a, as a global firm, we had um, some house money that we had raised over time um, that we could use for liquidity. Um, and in addition, we also drew down, uh, as, as uh, Mr. Abelow and Corzine mentioned, on the revolving credit facility, which was a liquidity facility available to us to meet liquidity needs as they arose. And did you not check to see where the significant dollar amount of margin calls was actually coming from? What account? Senator, I would not have checked the exact account that it would be coming from, um, but with regards to uh, clients, you know, whether it would be coming from the client side, uh, there were controls, for example, uh, back-end controls being individual segregation calculations that had never indicated any issues, so there was no indication for me that it would be coming from client accounts. Okay. Uh, Governor Corzine, if I understand it correct, in order to to reach into a customer's account and to meet the margin calls on the far of the sovereign debt uh, investments, um, you would have to actually go out of one company into another company? Well, Senator, I, you wouldn't meet margin calls for our broker-dealer uh, by reaching into the FCM customer funds. Well then my question is, how did that happen? How did, the, how did somebody reach into the segregated accounts and uh, transfer money out of those to do something with it that sh they should not have done? Senator, I don't, I don't want to repeat and know that it's frustrating, but it would be speculative on my part to say that. I did lay out some flows of transactions and kinds of occurrence that need to be established by the facts of looking through all of these records. And that's what I think the trustee and the other investigators are now doing. So is that kind of the guts of where we are with MF Global right now, is trying to figure out who transferred the money and who authorized the transfer of that I money think, out of the segregated accounts? I think it is uh, now in the fact discovery stage uh, of where the flows of money took place and when those then are established then you can follow that back to um, I presume how it was authorized. Madam Chair, I know I'm over my time but since I'm last can I ask one more question that I think will generate a quick answer. So am I to understand and I'd like all three of you to answer this. Did any of you know that this money was being transferred out of these segregated accounts? Senator, as I said on, in all of my testimony, uh, until that Sunday evening, I was not aware that we were, that there was a misuse of um, uh, customer funds. Hey, Mr. Avalo. Senator, I, I as well was, was shocked to learn on Sunday that we had the potential deficit in our segregated funds. Mr. Yeah. Camp. Yeah, Senator, I had no knowledge that customer funds were transferred uh, into the broker-dealer until that, that Sunday evening when we were notified. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will uh, reconvene at 2.15. I will uh, indicate that we are going to do the third panel. We know this is a long day, but this is a very, very important.